pleasure to see all of you too. You have returned to Coins Alert, the premier source for all things cryptocurrency. I am Ripple Van Winkle, and it is my pleasure to be your host. I wish each and every one of you a wonderful day. This coming Saturday, I am excited for today, March 16th, because it is the final day of the conference tournament. Tonight at 630 Eastern Standard Time, I will be watching the Yukon game. The actual flipping in will be discussed in this episode. You can see my point if you watch. Additionally, we will discuss Bitcoin in relation to the Bitcoin chart and our future plans. Keith will get back to us. Every day puts us one step closer to that parabolic blow up top from Bitcoin, that rotation into altcoins, and that enormous pump that is going to happen in XRP. I'll fill you in on all the details of what to expect in the markets over the next few weeks. What amount of time do you believe Sam Bickman Fried ought to serve behind bars? I would say that I tend to agree with what the DOJ told us. Breathe deeply, and then we can do it. Bitcoin worth $67,994 USD, it has lost 0.63% in the past hour, but just 0.2% over the past day. The price of Ethereum has dropped 0.44% to 3,668 USD. The dollar levels of USDT and USDC are being met, while XRP is trading at a mean lean lean 62 cents. With a decrease of 0.25% from yesterday, the aggregate worth of all cryptocurrencies has dropped to $2,612 billion. Bitcoins are currently in an unusual position. They have broken their all-time high from before the halving, yet they are still below their all-time high from either 2017 or 2020. They crossed the 73,000 bit mark. So the question now is where will Bitcoin go in the next weeks? We are aware that the halving is imminent and historically Bitcoin's price has fallen before making its last ascent. Then what seat shall we take? According to Girl Gone Crypto, the true flipping has taken place. Here you can see something. Compared to Google and Taylor Swift, Bitcoin is the superior choice. This is the place to bring up the topic of flippening. Bitcoin will turn over all of Taylor's coins. The bulls should run. At this very moment, that is my argument. Here is yesterday's news for anyone who missed it. The Lux lines of Bada Bing and Boom, TCG, a partnership agreement, has been finalized with the global metaverse. Their web application, a browser game built on Unity that grants entrance to the metaverse, is now available for free. So I will cease disseminating information about it. Did I say it's completely free? You can get a free account by signing up now, but if the service ever becomes premium, you'll have to pay to keep using it. Even if they never use it, many still sign up for it. This is an amazing spot, grandfather. If you venture within the stadium, you may stumble upon an exclusive reward. Take this as a clue. Other people have discovered it, so you might want to have a look. A messaging message that stands in for a payment message in ISO 2002. A new model is available on the Quorum official's website for further explanation. It simply says XML, it is not magical. Not your cryptocurrencies, but digital money and stable coins produced by governments are the driving forces behind the adoption push. Despite widespread opposition to CBDCs in the past, everyone is now in favor of them. I feel like I'm back in the days when everyone predicted Bitcoin would crash and burn because no one would ever use it. You look at it this way. Um, Bitcoin isn't going to be used. Virtual money issued and maintained by a central bank will never be created or used. Nobody wants central bank issued cloud currencies. That is totally evolving. That is totally evolving. It states that there are crypto bids on Binance totaling $200 million in Bitcoin. Perhaps he is anticipating a decrease in the price of Bitcoin between 63,000 and 64,000 and 64,000 because to the over $200 million lying there, as he mentioned last week, at 68, we've recently touched 67. Might this be the pullback that we've been discussing leading up to $63,000? If so, it will undoubtedly impact the remainder of the market. Here and now I will tell you. I'm in ADA, I'm in it, and I'm going to buy a ton of Cardano. I've talked about this before, and I sold a ton of Cardano in the past. I should have jumped when it was around 23 to 30 cents, but it's not too late now. This one is going to be a monster, so I'm investigating it. I've seen it floating around 70 to 75 cents when it moves, but it doesn't move much. It's tough, but for me, because I'm not a trader, this range is perfectly fine. Maybe it dips into the 60 cent range, but I must admit it's not worth the hassle for me. Instead, I'd rather buy it at 70 cents. I'm quite content with that price point, and I believe there will be a significant price increase during the bull run. I'll be content with a 10 to 20x return on this investment. However, sitting here and hoping it goes even lower isn't worth it. 
It's that simple, I'm not a trader, I just purchase, hold, and sell when the bull run ends. Listen to a recording of Vitaly Buterin discussing the pitfalls of allowing Charles Hoskins to depart Ethereum with Stephen Neruff, a little excerpt from an almost three-hour lecture. In this clip, it is revealed that Charles holds the secret to reviving Ethereum. Is anybody keeping up with this? Stephen Nadir is releasing all of his cards on the table. All he's doing is letting loose and spilling the beans about Ethereum's security flaws and scams. To top it all off, he has offered to appear on crypto shows and YouTube channels to answer any queries his viewers may have. Listen up, he's not hesitating anymore, and Kevin has no interest in becoming CEO, and he is confident in his abilities to succeed in any endeavor because to his strong business persona. Indeed, we will need to delve into this topic extensively if perusing Charles's biography is the solution. In my heart of hearts, I know I can make it happen. I am not interested in collaborating with Charles unless you give him explicit instructions and give him a lot of leeway to accomplish his job. This whole Ethereum sham with Steven Nareff is so full of crap that it baffles me that major media sites haven't covered it yet. Keith is the one I showed you earlier, he discussed the XP trend. I would like him to now fill you in on the current state of Bitcoin and its future prospects. The previous bull run and this one, together with the parabolic blow-off peaks, and the entire amount of cryptocurrency I will be compared by him. Keep in mind that we can recover a fee in its whole. And I'm actually going to flip to the weekly just for a second so I can fit all this on the screen. This is why log mode is so important and linear mode loses its mojo and you have these big moves like this that can't be, you don't have enough room to fit it on the chart. So I'm going to go from the high in the previous bull market to the low in the bear market. I'm going to drag it to the right, all right that ended up being roughly 2.272, all right, for that to happen this time, I want you to understand how much money that's going to be an astronomical. Amount of money, here's total market cap, so we can keep track of this. While we're doing this, I want you to keep up with me here because it's going to seem weird at first, but bear with me, I didn't mean to draw that. So I've got total market cap here, three boxes, where I think the price will go by this. Year, I'm hoping by this year we get up to this level $7.2 trillion by this year. You see the blow off top levels up here that's 18 trillion and 12 trillion, all right back to Bitcoin. Here's the 2020 chart or the 2020 24 chart that we have. You already said possible parabolic blow off tops. Just imagine the future of Bitcoin if it happened. Sure, I can handle that for a week as well. We will repeat our deceitful tactics from 2020 and 2016 and postpone them till 2024. Just like before, we will extend the highest point of the bull market and the lowest point of the bear market by four years. Roughly speaking, that would be in the year 2025's finale. On the blow off top, the values are 315, triple zero, and 473, triple zero. Are you aware of the monetary value of that? Up to 168,150,000. That's a five and eight fold increase from our current position. The total market value is $7 trillion. Roughly 177,000 Bitcoins. I seriously doubt that another major bull run will occur until the market cap reaches $7 trillion. The markets here will be extremely steady, and you shouldn't expect token prices on these exchanges to skyrocket by a factor of 5, 20, or 50. Additionally, I believe that many alternative cryptocurrencies will outperform Bitcoin. Even if the price of a Bitcoin doubles from what you're seeing from 70,000 to 177, you can still only call it 7.21 dash dash not even a one and a half X in this case. Cardinal XLM claims they have five to 20 Xs in them if it goes up again to 140 XRP. A lot of people are enthusiastic about Bitcoin because of the large number, but there are many assets that will do better. The large sum is irrelevant, is it? An investor would have profited 